After the estate of a grumpy old man is left to his nephew, a group of rabbits decide to claim ownership of the land and come up with the perfect plan to evict him. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Peter Rabbit, from 2018. In a green field, a group of birds are singing, until they are interrupted by a rabbit in a blue jacket, who is running around. His name is Peter Rabbit. The reason he's in such a hurry is that Peter is meeting his cousin, Benjamin, and his triplet sisters, Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail, to pick vegetables from Mr. McGregor's garden. The group starts their plan and takes advantage of the fact that the old man is distracted, mowing the lawn. They collect everything they can with great ease, but when the grass trimmer malfunctions and Peter accidentally activates a rabbit trap, McGregor realizes what is happening. The old man then picks up a rake and starts hunting the thieves. Peter finds himself cornered, but the triplets help him by throwing a tomato into one of the traps to get Mr. McGregor's attention. He then goes to investigate and Peter takes the chance to escape. At that moment, the wind ends up lifting the old man's shirt and the rabbit sees his chance for revenge. The problem is that the carrot slips out of his hand, which startles the old man who was holding the trap and sets it off right in the middle of his grey beard. Peter laughs at the situation, but when he tries to get out of there, his jacket gets caught in a railing. He then leaves his jacket and goes through the gate, but just as he was about to be caught by McGregor, a beautiful young woman rescues him and takes all the rabbits to her house. The girl's name is B and she's an artist who makes beautiful paintings of nature, especially of rabbits. One of these paintings triggers Peter's memory and he remembers the happy childhood he lived with his family, until one day, his father tried to invade Mr. McGregor's vegetable garden and was captured and turned into a pie. As a souvenir, he left his blue jacket, which Peter has worn since that day. His sisters try to console him for losing his jacket, but Peter says that it doesn't matter, because their parents are still alive inside each of them. Shortly afterwards, however, the rabbit invades the garden again to retrieve his jacket, which is hanging from a scarecrow. The rabbit takes his clothes back, but the old man appears again and catches him, saying he's going to eat a rabbit pie. But before he can celebrate his victory, the old man falls hard to the ground and perishes from a heart attack, having had unhealthy habits all his life. Seeing that his archenemy was eliminated, Peter took the opportunity to bring lots of food for Benjamin and the triplets. From that day on, they declare themselves the new owners of the garden. To celebrate, the rabbits call all the animals in the forest and throw a huge party, not only in the garden, but also inside the old man's house. Peter believes that without Mr. McGregor in the way, everything will be his alone, but things are about to change. In central London lives Thomas, the old man's grandnephew, who works in a toy store and is only more obsessed with organization and cleanliness than he is with his dream promotion to assistant manager. However, when he is called in by his manager, instead of being promoted, Thomas receives the news that his granduncle, whom he didn't even know, has perished. However, he is more concerned about the promotion, which was given to the owner's nephew out of pure nepotism. Outraged by this injustice, Thomas begins to act like a madman and destroys the store, but everything is captured by the security cameras and he is fired. Back at old McGregor's house, Peter is redecorating the place and puts up a painting of his parents, made by B. He promises that no one else will take their place, without suspecting that a new owner is about to arrive. In London, Thomas is practicing his violin in his apartment, until a delivery man brings him an envelope containing documents and the key to the property his uncle left him. Thomas is also told that the house could be worth a fortune and, thinking of selling it to open his own toy store, he wastes no time in buying train tickets to visit his newest property. After arriving in the town where the house he inherited is located, Thomas hails a cab to take him to where his granduncle used to live. Meanwhile, the animals are still having a great time, but when night falls, Jemima Puddle Duck notices that someone has arrived and warns Peter Rabbit, who immediately tells everyone to hide. Luckily, Thomas is so frightened and disgusted by all the mess outside the house that he decides to go in through the back door. When he enters, he finds the house completely messed up and sits dejectedly on the sofa. Just then, something rises from under the sheet, and when he pulls it out to see what it is, it's Pigling Bland. Seeing the scene, the man screams hysterically and all the hidden animals get scared and try to run away. Peter even tries to confront the human, but he can't and has to leave too. The next day, Thomas wakes up and starts to clean the whole house. He removes carrots from the ceiling, hair from the bathtub drain and all the food from the floor. Meanwhile, Peter, Benjamin and the triplets look outside and B appears curious about the new neighbor, but soon leaves and tells the rabbits not to worry, because not all humans are bad. Having finished cleaning up, Thomas wastes no time. He fixes all the gates and closes all the entrances to the garden, much to the chagrin of Peter and the rabbits. Soon after, 
B comes over to welcome her new neighbor and the two hit it off. She says she hopes he's nicer than his grandfather and gives him a pair of binoculars as a present. Afterwards, B says goodbye, but first she asks Thomas to leave the gate open for the animals to enter, because before the humans arrived, this space was theirs. He agrees while enjoying his present and Peter thinks this is a sign that they can enter, but on seeing the rabbits approaching, Thomas promptly closes the gate again and reinforces security. The whole situation makes Peter angry, but he decides not to try to break in through the front gate, for fear of having the same tragic end as his father. He and Benjamin go around the house and climb up the chopped wood to the roof of the storeroom. From there, they decide to cross the garden by balancing on an overhead cable, but end up slipping and are saved by falling into a clothesline. Peter thought his invasion plan had worked, but Thomas came after them and started chasing them with a hoe. To make matters worse, he's much faster than old McGregor and manages to corner Peter and Benjamin inside the warehouse. There, the rabbits hide in one of three identical vases and try to escape. Only Thomas notices the movement and lifts the vase, but Peter is quick and manages to escape, but Benjamin is still inside the container. At this point, the man lifts the other pots and Benjamin manages to escape, but just as he was about to go through the gate, Thomas uses his hoe to close the passage and throws two forks that trap Benjamin in the gate. The rabbit tries to pretend to be perished, but Thomas isn't fooled, so he puts it in a bag and drives off with it in his car. Peter and the triplets go after him and at the last minute, they manage to jump into the body of the car. The group tries to use bags on Thomas's head to get him to stop the car, but they all fly away in the wind. Peter then asks Cottontail to put her wet paw in the man's ear to distract him. At that moment, he takes the opportunity to slide down the windshield and open the hood of the car. Thomas stops, but immediately closes the hood right over Peter's ears, who manages to open it again and get free. The car then stops on a bridge and Thomas thinks about throwing the bag with Benjamin into the lake. But as he tries to do so, he has a crisis of conscience and gives up, only to discover that the rabbit is no longer there. Peter and the triplets had exchanged their cousin for the binoculars that B had given Thomas as a present and he accidentally dropped the object into the water. As the human descends the bridge to retrieve the gift, Peter apologizes to Benjamin for risking his life. Shortly afterwards, Thomas returned with the binoculars and drove into town, unaware that the rabbits were still in the car. Arriving at a store, Thomas says he wants to buy something to stop the rabbit plague in his garden. At this point, he discovers that the sellers know him thanks to B and they talk about the young woman's love for rabbits. While Peter is trying to listen to the conversation, Thomas notices him and the other rabbits in the car and tries to catch them, only for them to hide in time. This makes him even more determined and he buys explosives with detonators to finish them all off. Afterwards, Thomas comes out of the store and almost runs over a couple passing in the street. The two start insulting him and he's about to respond rudely, but B appears just then and Thomas offers her a ride home. The rabbits take advantage of this moment of distraction to return to the vehicle. On the way, the animals notice that the two of them are having a pleasant conversation, which irritates Peter. When they arrive, B invites Thomas to her house, while the rabbits climb through the roof to spy. There, she shows him her paintings, including the one of the rabbits, which he reveals he doesn't like because he considers them a plague. B, however, says that they are perfect beings and that they even apologize to each other by touching their heads. She shows Thomas this gesture in practice, which brings them even closer. After that day, the two spend more time together and a feeling between them begins to blossom, which only makes Peter even more jealous. During a picnic, the couple talk about their lives and expectations, while the rabbits follow along. However, it starts to rain, so the two of them go to B's house and the rabbits go with them. Without realizing it, Thomas closes all the doors, preventing them from getting through. If that wasn't enough, Peter sees B treating Thomas with the same care and affection that she used to have for him, which makes him jealous to the point that he opens the door and jumps towards his rival. But at that very moment, B catches Peter in the air and introduces him to Thomas, without suspecting that the two already know each other very well. The young woman then has the idea of doing a painting of the two of them together and goes to get the materials. But as soon as she leaves, Thomas and Peter start a violent fight, except that every time B shows up, they pretend to be getting along to keep up appearances. At one point during the duel, Thomas manages to pin Peter to the wall using a brush in his mouth. The rabbit tries to get loose, without realizing that the brush, which still has a little paint on it, is destroying B's painting, who arrives just in time to see the damage. Annoyed, she throws Peter out of the house, thinking he did it, which makes Thomas very happy. However, the rabbit is ready to throw him out once and for all. The next day, Peter, Benjamin and the triplets get together to put their revenge into practice. They train their agility by jumping off rocks and trees, work out and target practice with slingshots. 
After this, Thomas wakes up in his room and sees Peter standing in front of him. He gets up, but without realizing it, puts his right hand against a rabbit trap on the bed, and then clasps his left hand in another on the bedside table. To make matters worse, when he gets up, there are several rakes scattered on the floor and every time Thomas steps on one, the wooden handle hits him right in the head, to the point where he falls backwards and sits on top of three more rabbit traps. Furious, the man tries to chase Peter, but ends up stepping on some vegetables that the rabbits have left on purpose and falls on top of a wheelbarrow, which comes down the stairs and throws him straight into the living room table. Peter has won his victory, but the war is far from over. In response to this attack, Thomas puts up electric fences around the whole garden and spreads peanut butter on the wires to attract the animals. Despite this, Peter doesn't give up in the next day, when his rival wakes up and goes to the window, he sees the rabbits approaching the fence and touching it. It looked like the rabbits were going to be electrocuted, but nothing happened and they all burst into laughter and passed through the garden without any problems. Not understanding what has happened, Thomas decides to investigate, but just as he puts his hand on the doorknob, he gets a shock that throws him hard into the wall. He tries to get out through another door, but gets another shock. This happened because the rabbits had put the power wires in the doorknob. With no other choice, he tries to leave through the upstairs bedroom door. But when he tried to climb, he ended up leaning against the rail, which was also electrified, and was shocked again, causing him to jump from the ceiling. Soon after, he gets another shock when he tries to hold on to a light bulb, falling into the garden and becoming unconscious. Once again, Peter thinks he has emerged victorious, but Thomas wakes up in the middle of the night, even angrier. He then takes the explosives he bought and throws them all down the rabbit hole. However, just as the man was about to detonate the bombs, B arrived at the scene and asked what he was doing outside so late. Thomas tries to disguise it by taking some flowers to give her as a present and the two end up kissing. This makes Peter even more upset, as he confesses to Benjamin and his sisters that he loves B as if she were a mother, who took care of him after the perishing of his parents. The next day, Peter comes up with another plan. He and the other rabbits throw fruit at Thomas's window, who goes out to see what's going on. When you go down to the garden, the rabbits hide and use their slingshots to shoot fruit at you. Meanwhile, one of the triplets knocks over a vase in front of Bee's house to get her attention and she finds Thomas, but doesn't realize that the rabbits are attacking him. He tries to disguise it as much as he can, but shortly after Bee comes back into the house, he takes a shot of blackberry that goes into his mouth. Being allergic to blackberries, Thomas starts to get sick, but manages to use a syringe with anti-allergic medicine just in time. After that, he pulls himself together, then decides to take the explosives he put inside the rabbit hole and, one by one, starts lighting them and throwing them at Peter and the others. Even with the noise of the explosions, V was painting and couldn't hear anything over the loud music. During the confrontation, Mopsy thinks she's been hit and says goodbye to her sister, Flopsy, but soon realizes that the mark on her body wasn't blood, but tomato. Meanwhile, Peter and Thomas continue to fight and while the rabbit throws a tomato, the human throws an explosive that doesn't hit Peter, but leaves him bewildered. At this point, Thomas grabs the rabbit and accuses him of having caused all this. But then B comes up and asks what's going on and, once again, everyone tries to mask the situation. The farce only works for a short time, as Peter finds the detonator for the explosives and presses the button to blow everything up and reveal to B that Thomas had attacked them. But the rabbit hadn't counted on the fact that most of the explosives were still in his burrow and, by pressing the detonator, he destroys his burrow and knocks down the tree above it, causing it to fall right into B's gallery, destroying her paintings. Faced with the confusion, Thomas tries to explain himself and says that it was all the fault of the rabbits, who planned the whole thing to separate him from B. Obviously, the young woman doesn't believe a word he says and leaves with the rabbits, but Peter realizes what a big mistake he's made. The next day, Thomas puts his house up for sale and goes back to London. Peter then goes to visit B, and realizes that she still liked her ex-boyfriend, but with the relationship over and her paintings destroyed, she decides to leave, which makes the rabbit feel even guiltier. He then decides to sort everything out and, when he meets his family again, apologizes to them for his actions. However, Benjamin doesn't accept his apology and leaves. Even so, Peter decides to go ahead and goes to the train station to London to meet Thomas. He manages to reach the train and shortly afterwards, Benjamin appears to follow him, showing that he has accepted his cousin's apology. When they arrive in London, the two ask for help from a rat called Johnny, who decides to take them to the toy store where Thomas used to work, but not before introducing them to all the sights of the city. Meanwhile, B is getting ready to leave in a cab, but the triplets put several carrots in the car's exhaust to stop her. Back in London, Peter and Benjamin enter the store and try to talk to Thomas, 
but when he sees the rabbits, he freaks out and tries to attack them, scaring everyone inside. Finally, they end up in the staff room and Peter apologizes for everything that happened, which leaves the man confused. He decides to accept the apology and the three of them leave the store, climbing out of the window and then down a rope into a garbage can. The trio are now on a mission to stop B from leaving, and to do so, they travel by boat, trolley, plane and motorcycle. Before they arrive, the cab that was going to take B starts up again, but at the request of the triplets, a deer stops in front of the car to prevent it from passing. This gives Thomas time to get to his motorcycle and he ends up taking a nasty fall. After pulling himself together, he apologizes for everything that happened, but B doesn't accept it because he blamed the rabbits earlier. At that moment, Peter approaches her and takes the detonator out of his jacket, revealing that it was he who blew everything up and destroyed her gallery. B then realizes the truth, but before they can all talk further, the same couple that Thomas almost ran over in front of the store show up, saying that they are the buyers of the house. He tells them that the house is no longer for sale, but they don't care and decide to go in anyway. At this point, Peter and the rabbits decide to intervene and activate the electric door handle, so when the couple try to open it, they are both thrown away. Even so, they don't give up and manage to get in, but then Pigling falls on the living room table and the couple scream with fear, only to see the animals making a mess of the house. Finally, they give up and leave thanks to Peter, Benjamin and the triplets. After everything that happened, Thomas and B got back together and together they set up a new toy store and a painting gallery. While the couple attend to their new customers, Peter, Benjamin and their sisters are gathered to hear Flopsy tell the other animals everything that has happened. At the end of the story, she decided to give a name to the great adventure they had experienced, calling it the story of Peter Rabbit. So what did you think of this movie, leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.